very, very influential with her work on memory with the patient HM, uh, and also just memory systems in general. And it's just really, really great to see somebody like that be honored um, just nationally. Happy Canada's Walk of Fame's oldest living inductee, Montrealer Dr. Brenda Milner, was honored on her 106th birthday during a special Hometown Stars event at the Nero. Students, former students and Montrealers came out to honor the neuroscience pioneer. Milner revolutionized our understanding of the human brain. Celebrity does not need to be Hollywood or YouTube now that as we start to look at the mental health crisis that we're having in the world, uh, what Dr. Milner and others in her field are doing to help us understand why we are having crisis is going to be more impactful. For her former student, Marilyn Jones Gutman, Dr. Brenda Milner is not only an inspiration to follow a healthy lifestyle thanks to her impressive 106 years old, but also to be hardworking. She worked very hard and she was very focused. It's important to be focused. You find what you're interested in and you don't spread yourself in all over. Canada's Walk of Fame donated $10,000 to the Montreal Neurological Institute Hospital. As a birthday wish, the world-renowned scientists emphasized the importance of using this donation to improve the well-being of neural staff, highlighting the significant impact it will have on fostering a supportive and productive work environment. Famous people come in a bunch of different varieties, shapes and forms, and you have actors that can be famous. You also have famous scientists, and I do feel that scientists don't always get enough recognition relative to maybe some of their contributions. So I think it's really, really nice to have scientists be acknowledged for some very, very influential work that they do. And in her case, she essentially started a, an entire field of science, which is neuropsychology. And I think that's kind of a big deal. So it's really nice to acknowledge that every once in a while. In Montreal, Joanie Bouffard, City News.